Our next group uh, has a project titled Carnies Loma Verde, and they will be addressing goals two, three, eight, and 12. We are representing the Schulich School of Business at York University, and we're working with Carnes Loma Verde, which, uh, or CLV, which is a meat processing company located in Branca, a region in Costa Rica that encompasses the southern part of the country, including the province of Punta Arenas and part of San Jose. So CLV specializes in producing and distributing high quality meat products, which includes beef and pork, and they process and send the finalized and packaged product to three main customer segments. So it includes schools, which we'll be focusing on today, supermarkets and restaurants. So the CLV mission is to deliver superior quality meats while promoting the welfare of the community and they compete through quality. So not through mass production achieved through economies of scale and factory farming. The ultimate goal is to increase profits without compromising the mission statement. Thank you, Kelly. So one of CLV's three customer segments are, are elementary schools. However, they only supply to 30 schools currently. Our project is aimed at ascertaining how CLV can serve a greater volume of schools and subsequently reduce food insecurity in the country, starting with elementary school children. We developed a plan to reallocate CLV's food supply from restaurants to school programs in a way that satisfies CLV's mission and economic goals while concurrently contributing to this important issue. Our target is specifically to increase the number of schools that CLV provides to by three times in the next five years, thus enabling CLV to realize a profit and advance SDG number two by serving hungry school children through their programs. Supplying high quality meat to schools offers youth healthy meals to support their learning and development. Further, the supply of local meats to schools has the potential to further the economic development of Costa Rica. Increased demand for meat will encourage CLV to access new markets. The long-term impact can stimulate CLV's operations and create new jobs. Our proposal connection to the SDGs include goal number two, zero hunger, goal three, good health and well-being, goal eight, economic growth, and goal, goal 12, responsible consumption. Thank you, Rita. So how do we do this? Well, first of all, our methodology. So first we looked at CLV's three market segments, so restaurants, supermarkets, and schools. To determine the most profitable segments, we conducted research. So we looked at secondary sources, financial statements, and we conducted primary research, such as interviews. From there, we were able to divert excess supply to schools. So what did we find? Well, first, high-end restaurants represented the best balance of profitability and quality. We could divert 15% of low-demand products to schools. Secondly, mid-market supermarkets represent the best balance of profitability and quality. We could divert 25% of excess products to schools. Now, schools, most interestingly, there's an agreement with the government and small producers that schools actually provide the highest amount of profitability for CLV. So we can increase the meat supply by 40% by diverting it from other sources and actually make our clients more profitable in doing so, helping to meet their target SGGs. So looking at the challenges, uh, considering CLV is a family owned business, additional resources or additional capital may be required to meet the excess demand. This capital could be required for warehousing, uh, to provide supply chain management, or even to provide logistical support. Similarly, rebranding and accreditation is a timely process and may increase the cost of doing business. And lastly, we believe that Credit terms for some of the sectors are very long, which may, may impact cash liquidity. Now, Austin will tell some recommendations. Thank you. So based on those challenges and the results that Dennis went over there, we recognize that our recommendation for CLV is that we want them to shift their client base towards high-end restaurants and mid-sized supermarkets to benefit from that premium pricing and satisfy the goal of feeding school children with the aim of that 40% food diversion. And we have three key elements that we think believe are going to get us there. One is that we've provided a client suggestion list of prospective clients that we believe would satisfy a good fit for CLV. Next up, a subsidiary brand that will not only compartmentalize the school side of the business with the other restaurant side of the business, but also benefit from not mixing any sort of marketing messaging. And then lastly, a set of marketing tools such as improved certifications and more colorful and attractive packaging that will allow them to grab the attention of these new prospective clients. Now, these are recommendations that we believe will satisfy these SDG goals. 
Thank you, and we're happy to take any questions.